Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Wi-Fi 7 is the next generation of Wi-Fi, which will be and is the upgrade from Wi-Fi 6. And Microsoft now has now posted a blog post, which um, I'll leave down below for easy access and reference because it is quite in-depth. But um, just to let you know that Microsoft has confirmed that if you want to get your hands on Wi-Fi 7, in regards to running Windows, you will need to be running Windows 11 24H2, which is this year's annual feature update. So any previous version of Windows 11, be that 23H2 and even Windows 10, according to this blog post, um, Microsoft says will not carry support for Wi-Fi 7. Now, just a bit of a step back here. If you are wondering what the difference is between Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 7, and Microsoft mentions that Wi-Fi 6 is the sixth generation of Wi-Fi that improves efficiency, flexibility, and scalability, providing higher speeds and capacity for modern applications. So that's what Wi-Fi 6 is. Now, Wi-Fi 7, they say, is the latest generation that promises even faster speeds and improved latency, network capacity, and overall stability. So that's the difference between Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 7. Now, if we have a look here at the top of this paragraph, Microsoft says that Windows 11 supports the latest wireless technologies standard from WFA Wi-Fi Alliance, including Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 7, and WPA3, where Windows 10 supports Wi-Fi 6 and WPA3. So no mention of Wi-Fi 7 for Windows 10. And if we head back to the Windows 11 section and we scroll down, they say... To take advantage of the increased performance, coverage, and security, this is what you need. So basically, this is a, for Wi-Fi 7. A router that supports Wi-Fi 7, 6, 6E, and or WPA3. Windows 11 installed on your PC, but the side note is Wi-Fi 7 is available starting with Windows 11 version 24H2. So that's why I'm mentioning that any previous version will not carry support according to Microsoft for Wi-Fi 7. And then you'll need a wireless network adapter that supports Wi-Fi 7, Wi-Fi 6, and or 6E, and or WPA3. So there you have it. If you are wanting to try out Wi-Fi 7, according to Microsoft, you are going to need Windows 11 24H2. Now, just on a side note, if you are wondering what protocol of Wi-Fi you have um, on your OS and what you are running, it's quite simple to do and to check out the protocol. You just head to your system tray, you right click on your network um, icon, you click on network and internet settings, you head over to your Wi-Fi, you click on your Wi-Fi properties, and here we go, you get the protocol, which I am currently on Wi-Fi 4, which is maybe a little bit behind the rest of the pack, but nonetheless, so that's, your, that's the protocol, and this is where you can check what um, protocol of Wi-Fi you are running. So um, just putting it out there because obviously um, 24H2 is already available on Copilot Plus PCs as of the 18th of June earlier this week. And for the rest of us um, um, who are not running Copilot Plus PCs, which is the majority of Windows users, we are expecting 24H2 to roll out starting September, moving into October. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.